Hello, we're going to work on problem 46 from University of Physics by OpenStax. All right, um, part A is sketch a graph of velocity versus time corresponding to the graph of displacement versus time given in the figure. Okay, so the velocity is going to be equal to the slope of the function that we have here. And that is because when you take a rate of change of x over a rate of change in time, the result is speed, much like the slope definition is m equals delta y over delta x when you have your y-axis being your vertical axis and your x-axis being your horizontal axis. In this case we have time as our horizontal axis and position as our vertical axis. Okay, I will start by drawing some reference lines that will help me keep track of um, my values. So at point A I have something like that, B and so on. There we go. Now, at point A, I identify that I have a slope that is negative and non-zero. So I expect point A to be negative and non-zero. At point B, it's still negative and non-zero, but not quite as steep. So perhaps there. At point C, the slope is zero. At point D, it is positive and non-zero and quite large. So perhaps there. At point E, it is zero. At point F, it is negative and non-zero but not terribly large, so maybe there. Point G, it, the slope is horizontal, meaning it's zero. H, it's positive and non-zero. I, it still looks positive and non-zero, and it looks a little bit more steep. At J, it's still positive and non-zero, but it seems similar in magnitude to that, of, to that of H. So I'll put it back there. At K, it's still positive and non-zero, but it's not very large. And lastly, we have a slope that seems to be zero. My original function is smooth so I don't imagine that my speed function will be a piecewise function, so I will draw it as a smooth function.
Okay, well, my artistic talent is not great, but I imagine that's an acceptable representation. Oh, a couple more things. This obviously was our speed versus time graph. Now, for parts B and C and D, we are required to identify which parts would be the largest positive, at which times it would be the largest negative or at which time it would be zero speed. But now we can do that quite easily. So for part A, we want the graph. We are good with that. For part B, I want the times at which instantaneous velocity has the greatest positive value. So D1 greatest positive value is right there. And that corresponds to T of D. At which times is it zero for part C? Well, it is zero here, here, there, and there, which corresponds to the values C, E, G, and L. And for part D, at which times is it negative? Well, it is negative here and here because the slope is still pointing down. So that's A, B, also here F, 